Shannon Dixon, congratulations, the new European lightweight champion. Reflection will no doubt happen in the next few days, but just your emotions right now. I can't believe it. Like, Anthony's been building on my confidence more and more this camp and just saying, like, you know how good you are, like, you, you belong to be here, you deserve to be here. And tonight, I think, I finally actually listened to him and believed him. But, yeah, it's just, I can't, I think it'll finally sink in tomorrow when I wake up and I go, oh, my God, I'm the European champion. But, no, um, I'm just ecstatic. Katharina Flanders had only been beaten once prior tonight at world level by Terry Harper. So for you to have beaten her as comfortably as you did, that's a massive statement. Yeah, you know, I, she's my toughest opponent to date. And, and I went in thinking this is going to be a long night, like a long time around. And I believe that I, I handled it really well and shown like I can come forward, I can box. And I just, I always say to Anthony, like, treat me like I'm one of them, you know, like, um, you know, like fight, you know, one of them little fighters. And I'm like, tell me what to do and I'll just do it. Um, but no, yeah, I think, you know, I need these learning fights and to go against these tough opponents and good girls to bring the best out in me and so I can learn and when I get to that world level, like I've had all this experience and I've been the 10 rounds and I know that I can push on and yeah, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just buzzing. Barry Jones said on commentary that you made a very good fight to look very poor tonight. What? What sort, what sort of a tick in the box is that for you? Oh my God. You know, he always speaks dead nice to me, and is it because he's Welsh and my name's Welsh? I think we've got, you know, we're like that, but yeah, you know, every time um, I listen to the commentary because obviously, like, they're really knowledgeable and they, they pick you up on things that you're not doing right and things that you can do better. So, no, for Barry Jones to say that about me, and I think I need to go and thank him and give him his bribe money for talking good about me. Your first time doing the 10 rounds as well, you were still throwing right until the final bell. That shows you have you had plenty left in the tank. Yeah, well. What do you expect when I have to go and spar Anthony in camp? Honestly, I say he's like a mutant ninja turtle. He tucks in and he's just always on me all the time. And so I can't not be fit because he'll just paste me. So um, yeah, I've got to thank him for that. That's the Commonwealth title, now the European title in eight fights. What do you think that says about the way you were moving as a professional? I mean, it's all down to Paul and Anthony, I think they're guiding me. White collar to European champion, what? But yeah, um, no, I think they've guided me really well. Like. I think I just need to start believing in myself and they believe in me and they take me in the right place so I've just got to listen to them and you know keep on getting better. I think the improvements we've seen certainly in the last three fights have been have been immeasurable. What do you put that down to? What's fallen into place in like the last 12 months? I think it's just you know before that I haven't got all that amateur experience and you know I'm doing so much with Anthony we've got Dominic as well haven't we and Paul's coming I've just got um what's the Carl nutritionist and I feel like Martin Cullen SNC I feel like everything's coming into place now and it's just clicking and um you know we do loads of rounds together and he picks me up on everything like you know even when we're sparring you're like don't do that again I'm the only one he shouts at everyone else gets a pat on the back all the time he's so harsh on me but yeah, it just, it'll make me a better fire in the end. Anthony, if you just want to jump in as well and join Rhiannon, if you just want to say how proud you are of Rhiannon, the improvements she's made, <laughs> she's, all, she's all is. Listen, no, I'm, I'm unbe unbelievably proud of the girl. Um, I said it to her in the ring. And listen, the improvements are there all the time. And I think, everyone, like you just mentioned then, the improvements in the last few fights have been massive and she's still capable of more. I mean that, but I was very proud of her tonight. And like I said, a lot of girls would have went over tonight. They really would. But um, said in such a short amount of time, Rhiannon's a great athlete and she's only going to get better and better, I promise you that. And I know it's mentioned all the time, but she's so inexperienced compared to so many of these other girls. So for her to be fighting the girls, she's been matched very well. And uh, I believe she's got a great team behind us, like she said there, you know, everyone in the gym, the mate Dom, who's, you know, massive help. Uh, she's got a great man. Everything about the team around us from strength, nutrition, management we're really happy with and listen we're not in a rush but we're going to keep on improving and keep getting those learning fights like i said it was the toughest fight tonight on paper but i thought she handled it very well ryan and anthony just felt spoke glowingly about you so i think it's time you do the same to him <laughs> how important is it to have him in your corner where he's been it and done it all where you lack that experience and anthony has it all yeah it's like even when we're inspiring it's just someone who's been there done that been to the top and it's like you know when, when you're making way and things like that you've just got someone who's been through it and knows what you're going through and he can give you that push and yeah it's just you know i've got to give him credit where credit's due I mean, uh, he's, he's all right i think I, i'm making you look good don't make this about start me. saying he's a good coach because of me <laughs>
You said that there's no rush at the moment, but in the immediate future, what would you like to see Rhiannon do now? Um, I think, again, more learning fights like that against good opponents. Um, I think she's going to have, she's had a long camp, so she's going to have a week or so off, and then we'd love to get her out in December, and all that's the plan. Uh, she's been in the gym an awful lot this year, so it's important that she rests, but obviously, end of the year is not too far away. So, yeah, she'll be back in very soon, and like I said, I thought she was very, very good tonight. But I know there's more improvement in her, and um, it's exciting. Renan Dixon, congratulations. I'll let you go and enjoy becoming the new Euro European lightweight champion.